I'm the son of Walter Latham. I'm from a place called Robertsville, North Carolina. Uh, just to give you an idea of how small the town is, it's about um, about two miles long and has two stoplights. So um, it's a relatively small town. Um, it's kind of known for you know tobacco and and its cornfields, and um, we had a, uh, a chicken factory there. Uh, you know where most of my family worked at. So, um, like I said, that's where I lived. Um, you know, growing up, I I lived in a trailer home with my mother and my uncle. Um, you know, we lived right next to a slaughter pen, um, next to slaughter hogs. Um, you know, next to our house. So, uh, I remember you know it. You know, being disgusting. You know, waking up to that smell of hogs and. Uh, it was just a terrible, it's a terrible thought. Still, my father, you know, he started doing well for himself, and um, he suggested to my mother that, you know, I come move to Greensboro, you know, with him and my stepmother because he felt that, you know, only a man could raise a man, and um, you know, my my mother, she was doing the best that she could, you know, she was a single mother, um, it was me and my my sister, but you know, long story short, my um. My mother agreed to, um, you know, let my dad, you know, take me to Greensboro with him and live with him and my stepmother. Um, I moved to Greensboro when I was about seven. Um, I hated it. You know, I, it was nothing like the, the, uh, the summer trips I used to take um, with my father. Uh, it was the complete opposite. Um, you know, um, it was no fun. You know, my my mother and my father were. Are two di are two different people. My my father's real strict. My mother she was just um, she let me do anything I wanted to do. Um, so it was a, a huge change for me. Um, you know, moving to Greensboro was more disciplined, more um, more school focused, um, just all around. It was just uh, it was hard. Um, I hated it. You know, I, I, I used to, you know, cry every day to go back home, live with my mother. But, you know, as I grew up, I got older, um, you know, I got more. I knew that I wasn't going anywhere, so I just stuck, stuck it out. You know, he always, you know, had the foundation at home. You know, you know school was always first. Um, you know, he taught me how to be responsible. He taught me, you know, everything that I, I know now as a man. And um, like I say, he was really strict on me. So um, you know, I knew you know you know to get my work done, you know to go to school, you know be on my best behavior, and you know not you know embarrass him and embarrass our name. And so um, you know, like I said, in the high school, um, I went to high school. You know, school wasn't really a big priority to me. You know, until I got to high school, and I started um, realizing that you know. You know, education, you know, my education could help my mother and my sister get out of the area that they were in. So, you know, ninth grade, the 12th grade, you know, um, I was all about school, you know, making straight A's. It was, um, it was fun to me, really. Um, I love going to school. I love learning. Um, you know, I did very well. And um, I also played football, you know, when I moved up to Greensboro. I started playing, you know, football when I was seven. I didn't play my freshman year, but, you know, I played um, all throughout high school. Um, you know, God um, was willing, you know, to give me, you know, some special talents. Um, my junior and senior year, um, I was recruited heavily to go to, um, you know, all the major D1 schools in the country. Um, I had offers from Florida. Penn State, Carolina, Stanford, California, Oregon, any name, any school that you can name, you know, I had a, I had a full ride to go there. And, um, you know, I ended up choosing um, Penn State, um, you know, to play for then uh, a legend, um, you know, and also the, the, the school was um, amazing. The business school was amazing. You know, that's something that I, I wanted to do because, um, you know, obviously, my dad was in business and owned his own business, so um, I did that. Um, in college, I, I was, um, you know, also a, a phenomenal student. I graduated in finance. My GPA was a, a, a three five. You know, I, I did I did very well in, uh, in school. You know, football uh, on the football aspect of it. You know, I didn't you know accomplish all my goals. 
that I set up for myself in, um, in that regard. But um, it was a great experience to, you know, play in front of 110,000 people every Saturday and, you know, um, you know, play, you know, with the best of the best in college football. You know, I graduated college. Um, I got a job working at, at a, a bank called PNC. After that, I end up getting another job at Merrill Lynch, and that's where I'm currently at right now. You know, when I was a young kid growing up in Robsonville, um, I remember one day my aunt, she uh, came to my, my mother at our house, and uh, she asked me what I, I wanted to be. And I told her um, I wanted to work at Purdue at the chicken factory. Because that's where everybody that's where everybody worked at. That's where all my, my cousins, my uncles, you know, they lived in Robinsonville, that's where they worked at and, you know, you know, that's where I, I wanted to do uh, what they what they did, you know. I wanted to do what I what I saw. You know, there was no, you know, you know, doctors, lawyers, you know, people going to the NBA or NFL, you know, no one um was had those professions where I was growing up. So my outlook on life was um, you know, a lot smaller than, you know, ended up turning out to be. You know, I, I just look back on that and, and just, uh, you know, thank God, you know, that, um, that he put me in a position, you know, put my father in a position, you know, to, to, to take care of me and to get me out of that environment. You know, today, you know, my cousins um, and the people that are still down in Robertsville, they're either dead, you know, are in jail for life, or they have about five kids to, to five different women. So, um, you know, I thank God every day for, um, for his blessings and, and for you know getting me out of that situation, you know I came from from basically nothing. Um, um, my father was blessed to you know do what he he did, and he instilled in me um, a great a great work that ethic, um, um, great leadership qualities that um, that was instilled in me and, and got me to where I am today. Never let anybody tell you what you cannot, can or cannot do, you know. I would have never thought in a million years, you know, being a little kid from Robertsville, that one day I would, you know, be playing, you know, for a major Division One college, uh, playing in front of 110,000 people, you know, playing on ABC and ESPN, like that was just, you know, that wasn't even possible, you know, where I came from. But, you know, through hard work, dedication, and, um, you know, always believing. You know, my father always, always, he always supported anything that um, that me and my my little brother, you know, did. You know, whether that you know be you know be the president or you know go to outer space, anything that we we thought um, of being. You know, he always supported you know us. And um, you know, I tell you, you guys um, today, you know, and even you know parents, if you're watching, you know, never you know tell your kid that they can't do something because you never know you never know what situation they might fall upon you know always always encourage them to do whatever they can do because you you never know what can happen uh, I, I thank my father for uh, for being hard on me you know at the time I didn't like it but you know today I can say you know all the all the um, the things that he, he taught me and um, he instilled in me at a young age, you know, um, instilling in my child today, and um, all the things that he he told he told me that I, I didn't believe in when I was young. It's all coming into fruition today as a as a grown man. I I, I see everything that that he told me um, that was going to happen is happening, and um, you know, and he prepared me, you know, right. Never give up on your dreams. Um, never. Um, think you can't do something, you know, if you put your mind to it, you know, you can do anything you want to, you know, be anyone you want to in the world. So thank you and God bless.